Welcome back and welcome to another Vlogmas weekly vlog. In this vlog, you can expect some readings, some advent calendar open, some Christmas lights, and find out which book I decided not to finish. Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any future Vlogmas content. And if you have missed out on any videos, I will leave a playlist linked up above for you. In the description box, as always, you will find all of my social media links so that you can keep up with my reading and my my festive activities in between times. So it is Saturday the 12th um, and my uh, vlog was such a pain to get up this morning so last week's vlog as you're watching this. Um, so that's consumed a lot of the morning but we've just had some lunch and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Um, so let us open our advent calendars because I could actually fancy a cup of tea to be honest. Um, so let us see what we have in store for us today. Um, I just said it was the 12th so we're looking for window number 12 which is right down here at the bottom. So let's see what we've got in the window here. Ooh. It's purple. This is Go Go Goa. Climb aboard a rickshaw and hit a buzzing, buzz, hit the buzzing streets of Goa. This playful blend boasts a vanilla-infused sweetness that will keep you on the go go go. And it specifically says to enjoy this one with milk and honey. So that's exciting. Maybe we'll put some milk in it and see if it can take some honey. I don't necessarily always like honey and tea, but we do have hot honey, so that could be interesting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make that. Let me grab my friend's advent calendar. Oh, put it down on the floor for some reason. So we're looking for window number 12, right down the bottom here with Marcel. Are you impressed with how quickly I, I found that window? If you've been keeping up with my vlogs, you'll know it sometimes takes me a while to find the right number. Okay, what do we have here? We have some like sort of photo card things. So photos from the episode with the conversation on. Um, oh, that's cute. Season 10, episode 18, the last part. The last one, part two. And then uh, the one with the floating heads. <laughs> and we know the dialogue that goes with this one. That's cute. I like those. I like those a lot. Um, so yeah, let's go and make this cup of tea. And then, of course, when we go down to the gym, we'll be listening to some audiobook. I am currently listening to Shit Actually by Lindy West, which I'm really like not sure about it. Started listening to it with Ollie. He didn't like it. I know Bethany DNF'd it. Um, uh, it's, it's interesting the films that she's picked to talk about. Um, she sort of does a disclosure at the beginning of like why she chose the films that she chose, but it's still sort of interesting for me because everyone has their own like stock, like go to films and then films that are definitely outside their comfort zone and then films that sort of everybody knows as classics. Um, but yeah, it's a very like, um, subjective thing to talk about. So she was talking about Forrest Gump last night when I was listening, I put it on sleep timer before I went to bed. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what she's talking about today. I think I have another couple of books also due back to the library. So we might switch it up if she starts annoying me too much. We'll see. So I did try it without the um, milk and honey. And um, it smells exactly like the gingerbread shop in Grasmere. So if any of you have ever been there, that's exactly how it smells. So if it's being called Go Go Goa, maybe it should be called Go Go Grasmere. It still smells like that, even though I put the, the honey and milk in. I put just a tiny bit of honey in because I don't like it super sweet. See, as soon as you put the milk in, I just feel like you like take away from the taste. It's like when I did the gingerbread one the other day and suggested doing it with a splash of milk. I'm like, like it cools it down too much and then it takes away from the taste. So I'd recommend that one just as it is. I like it just as it is. So after the gym, um, I have just got showered and actually <laughs> hit a new uh, coffee high or coffee low, depending how you look on it. Um, enjoyed my uh, Starbucks almond milk flat white in the shower, um, which was wonderful because I was really hungry after the gym and it just like sort of filled that 
gap and sort of picked me up a little bit as well um and i've just been watching the romance takeover wrap up readathon romance takeover readathon wrap up live show which i'm not watching live i've just been catching up on it um when i was in the gym i picked some more um chapters to listen to from shit actually by lindy west um basically what i did was i sort of finished it off by picking the chapters from the films i was interested in hearing her thoughts on so like lion king and um trying to think of another example because she was talking about a few films that I either haven't watched or had no interest in watching so I kind of picked the ones um that I was interested in what uh listening to um and then like stopped that I think I didn't like it I think I didn't like the way she was just so negative about everything and so kind of dismissive of some of the more like nuanced either like heartfelt moments or comedy moments or sort of things that would mean things to fans of a franchise perhaps um and then the way she described some things were just like you're using like 17 words when you could use one or two here i don't know it just felt like she was being um harsh and critical for um like shock value rather than for actual like purposes of the book being good so I kind of agree with everyone who has read this one and said no I didn't like it but I wanted to read it because I love everything that I've read and seen from Lindy West so yeah eh, maybe I just don't like her talking about films maybe that's it um and so then I started listening to um, some more of Rachel Bloom's book which I was listening to last week and I'm just enjoying that so much and it's like I must pick up Crazy Ex-Girlfriend again so I started watching it when series one came out and then just never finished it um, and I think there's three series now so um, I need to go and watch that so I need to finish Shit's Creek first um, watch an episode of that whilst I was on the treadmill it made me cry so did not watch any more of that um and now uh, Ollie is making his version of um, White Castle. And so we are going to watch the Harold and Kumar White Castle movie. Because um, again, we read about White Castle in a book and Ollie found the recipes to make it. So we have cider buns, will eat burgers. Week, you'll have seen me start to make this wreath. So I closed it up and what I did was I did some same height ones here and then we're going to get a bow to put on that. Just go bow at Dollar Tree and then I have to work out how to hang Thinking it up. hanging it up because <laughs> we've got a big space here because as you know we got rid of one of these. There used to be two of these here if you remember last year's vlogs. Um, so we need something to fill this big space even though this corner is very Christmassy. I haven't finished the short one yet though. Uh, I'm hoping that this one will sort of go on top of the other one, but if that doesn't look good, then um, what I will do is I will just have a short one and put that somewhere else because having two would be quite cute too. And this means that um, at some point this year, I will have to buy one of those wreath holders that you see in supermarkets that I'm like, oh, why would anyone those? Well, probably because, you know, I need it to move. <laughs> right, let us open today's tea advent calendar it's 13 let's check again then uh here it is right here let's see what we've got we have oh gorgeous geisha um i have had this one before i think this is the one that i think that ollie likes i think the other one that i thought was the one that he likes was not it was one that i like but um yeah, this one is smooth, sweet and creamy scented green tea combined with the luscious flavours of strawberries and cream. It's delicious hot or ice as a summer treat. This geisha has got a hold on us. So I'll wait and see if he wants to try that one today. Why not? Let's quickly open Friends Advent Calendar because then I've got a Zoom to get on to. Quick, quick, quick. Let's find 13. 13, 13. Oh, we've got some, some more lights down here for number 13. It's a sticker! 
Yes! And you know, I have things that I can put stickers on too. That's very cool, wicked. Okay, let's go make some tea. So I just read a little bit more of Confessions of a 40 something book up. Um, it's quite nice reading it in like little bits like this and then doing some audio books in between time. I like it. I had a cup of tea and um, a biscuit with some jam and that was really nice. And now we are going to watch the charity table read for It's a Wonderful Life. So that should be fun and something completely different. Um, I'm liking all the different Christmas things this year. I am really pleased that the um, the gym is just like one person only right now because I'm listening to I Want to Be Where the Norton People Are by Rachel Bloom and I've got to the bit where she's like, here's a theme park that would work on theming for adults and she's going through like how the rides work, how there should be an edible station, uh, how the lines should be so that you can be like behind plexiglass away from all the screaming children. And I'm just like laughing away and happy that there's no one in here to hear me laughing. Although I would happily explain why I am laughing, of course. <laughs> okay, I have just filmed a couple of videos, gone to get some parcels. It's been an eventful day so far and it's not even four o'clock yet. So let us open today's advent calendar. It's day 14. How very exciting. Only 10 more days to go. Okay, I have found... 14. Let's see what we've got. Ollie did enjoy the um, green tea that I did for him yesterday. Okay, this is Singapore breakfast. It sounds like it might need to have a little biscuit to go with it. Um, reminiscent of Kaya Toast, the mix of uh, various different teas. Wow, that is a lot of teas. Sings with richly sweet, toasty and coconut flavours. This brew is the ultimate ode to Singapore's beloved national breakfast. And it says it is perfect on its own, but it does contain tree nuts because obviously it has coconut in it. How exciting. I'm looking forward to trying that one whilst I upload my... Um, whilst I upload my videos, very exciting. And then let's see if we can find, I can see number 14 straight away because it's the Thanksgiving turkey, yay. Let's see what we have inside 14. Ooh, a guide to the holidays, the friends way. Let's see. Okay, the following pages contain a guide to all the holiday episodes of Friends, followed by a delectable recipe for delicious hot chocolate to share with family and friends. So whip up a batch or two of the holiday hot chocolate and gather around the television as you rewatch some of the most cherished holiday moments with your friends. Um, I think this might be a little bit dated because I don't tend to watch Friends on the television, on my phone or on the iPad. So it's got... The Christmas ones, the one with the monkey, uh, and then the one with all the resolutions is technically a New Year's episode. The holiday sentiments are still present, and who doesn't love the iconic scene where Ross gets stuck in his leather pants? The one with the routine, the one with the holiday armadillo, the one with Ross's step forward, the one with Christmas in Tulsa, aka the one with Monica's boots. <laughs> And then here's the holiday hot chocolate, which has cocoa powder, sugar, salt, milk, vanilla extract, and nine large marshmallows store bought. What, who's getting their marshmallows not from a store? So it's not like a marshmallow farm. I'm very critical of this uh, guide to the holidays, but I think that's very cute. I like the fact that it's got all the holiday episodes listed for you. I did get the DVD of the Friends, the one with all the Christmases, so I can watch the one with all, all the Christmas episodes. <sighs> Sorry, I did just make my Enchanted Fandom cocktail from the drinking vessel box and it's just pure alcohol, so it's maybe a little bit on the warm side. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it linked up above. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> So this is the Enchanted Fandom cocktail that we made earlier. I don't know why it's dripping on me. It's got a little, little cute candy cane thing on it. It's so strong and I'm so warm now. 
I think I'm gonna eat the candy cane because it just dripped on me for no reason. But I did just make today's tea, so we'll have to see what that tastes like too. Okay, we're gonna give the tea a try because it smells amazing, I have to say. Sorry, that was a real slip. <laughs> oh, that is lovely because you've got like the rice and the coconut in there. Mmm, that's really nice. I'll have to get the little packet out of the bin and find out which one it is so I can order it again. In case you're wondering, this is what the pink one looks like. This starts off as like purpley colour. Or is it green? Oh, I can't remember now. We'll see when it's cold, but this is the pink one. We've got a little Bailey's hot chocolate going on. Nice. So last night I ended up having a lot of screen time, which really hurt my eyes. Um, I think I have a lot of screen time on the phone, but not necessarily on the computer. Um, and so whilst I was doing bits, um, catching up on bloggy bits, which was, it was good. I had like a, a decent like crack at catching up on some stuff. I was listening to Well Played by Jen DeLuca and I listened to about half of that yesterday. So I did some decent reading. I can't remember if I said to you, I started listening to The Shadows by Alex North while I was in the gym. Um, and I read the first couple of sections of that and then decided to DNF it because it just was not grabbing my attention at all. It was due back at the library and if that can't make you want to read something, I don't know what can. So I'm just very sort of, very tired this morning. Um, it, like I've been up for an hour now and it's, I'm still, hmm. uh, so I'm working on today's videos that will be in the playlist or I'll link it up above. Um, but yeah, did some decent reading, which is cool. Um, it's not great to feel tired because I have back-to-back -back Zoom story times now, um, which take a lot of energy. And then straight after that, I'm going to the gym. Um, so I'm hoping to find time to catch up with Hayley today because we are supposed to be going live here tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I can get in touch with her um, at some point as well. And then, um, get some more filming done later. It's time to start filming the top tens of the year. How exciting. So I have not read any adult books today, but I have read some picture books because we had two Zoom story times this morning. I sorted out those two videos. So the one went up today and one's going up on Thursday. I've sorted out my life with Hayley tomorrow. So if you haven't already seen that, check that out. Um, and I am just about to watch something with mum just now, but we're gonna open today's advent calendar because I'll probably make the cup of tea. Love to see. I think we're going to watch Godmother. Check the date. <laughs> it is 15. Oh, we're in the top left corner. No, right corner, depending how you look at it. Oh, yes. I have one of these sitting in the cupboard. If you haven't tried this, it is lush. I will definitely be ordering some like actual full on cubes of it. I think they did it in like a sort of tree hanger, like an ornament thing as well. I didn't get it because I got the Festival of Flavours, which was also beautiful packaging too, but really hoping that they have this next year so that I can order it next year too. So I will go ahead and make that, even though I'm drinking a Snapple right now. Don't know why I fancied a Snapple today. Let's see what's in the Friends Advent calendar. Whilst I was in the gym, I did watch two episodes of Shit's Creek. <sighs> and it was just, it was lovely. I'm trying to eke it out so I don't watch it and then regret having binged the whole thing, but I could quite easily have binged the whole thing. Anyway, I'm opening this without showing you it. Here's 15 over here, some more lights. So we'll see what's in here. Oh, it's another gift tag. That's very cool. Uh, you're the Monica to my Rachel. It's a gift tag for a friend. I do need my nails done, but I'm getting those done on Monday. So that should be nice. Um, we have the library, not but we don't have. I have the library like 
Christmas book party tonight. They've been doing a book party once a month and I've read quite a few things from the book party actually. So I'm excited to see what they do for their Christmas one. It's an hour long, whereas normally it's 45 minutes long. So after I'm done watching with mum, I might get some more reading in. I might film some more videos. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be book party time, exciting. I do have a chunk of time for filming videos tomorrow afternoon, but it would be good to get some done today as well. We shall see, we shall see. I need to start filming my top tens, very exciting. A little uh, peppermint coffee, but we're gonna do it iced, yay. And since it's just about five o'clock, we're gonna spike it too. Now I don't normally do movie reviews in the middle of a vlog, but I just had to tell you about the fact that I just sat and watched the new Disney Plus movie, Godmothered, with mum. We watch on Teleparty so that we can watch things together. So she sits in the UK and I sit here in Denver and watch. Um, and I knew it was gonna be good, but it was so, so lovely. It was exactly what I needed to watch right now. And it, it then at the end suggested that I rewatch Noelle. I was like, I know I like Noelle. I know I love it, but I don't need to see it again. I've watched it once this week already. Um, but Godmothered features a fairy godmother in training ending up in Boston to help somebody that wrote to her when she was a little girl. She's now grown up and a little bit cynical. And this, this is what you need to know about this movie. It is Enchanted meets Elf meets... Um, Oh, what was the third film I said? It was like a combination of three films. Enchanted meets Elf, meets like touches of Noelle in there because we've got this person going from like fairy godmother world into modern day Boston. Um, it's not necessarily a Christmas film, even though it takes place just before Christmas in Boston. It's not like got a Christmas message about it. And the other thing you need to know about it is the fact that there is a raccoon called Gary. I am sure that I've sold it to you, so uh, you have my permission to pause this vlog and go away and watch Godmothered. I want to watch it again. Plus it had good music too. What's not to love? Um, and I am also enjoying my iced peppermint coffee. I didn't add any milk to it, just the peppermint schnapps. So it is time for the book party. I'm very excited. I, I don't think you've seen today's like sparkly outfit. I'm very sparkly today since it is a book party. I wish I was taking part, but I will just watch. That's fine. I've been out, did target run, picked up a couple of other bits that I needed and finally got my <laughs> Panera in the Christmas cup to show you, so. Mm. As soon as she handed this to me through the window, the car smelled amazingly of coffee. And now I am just about to go live with Hayley on my channel. So I'm gonna pop on some festive lipstick. This is today's festive jumper. Um, well, it's a sweatshirt. Although I don't like that you can't roll the sleeves up very well, so that we might be having issues with that, but we'll see. We'll see. At the moment, I'm just a bit hot. So I pop some lipstick on, jump on that live, get ready to talk about looks. Why not? I changed again, I know. I got this coffee from Caribou. Um, I don't know, well, no, I do. They had some really cute Christmas tree ornaments and so I was like, let's, let's go to Caribou, I've got time today. And um, I just got back in my car from popping into Old Navy and the car smells amazing because this is like basically their version of an eggnog latte, but it's just like, we, it's got tons of nutmeg on the top. It's just glorious. It is just glorious. Well, for a walk now, so I'll try and remember and take some footage for you. I said I'd try. We'll see.
so it's quarter past 11 and we just got home from doing the uh, like drive through Christmas lights it was I was slightly confused about uh, where it was so it's slightly further away than what we thought but we just grabbed like a burger on the way back because we didn't eat before going um, but you will be able to see that in my Christmas lights video and I'll give you um, I'll probably have shown you some clips anyway of some lovely houses and buildings that we saw all lit up but it's been a busy day I went out and then I came back and then I did a live and then I went out again and then I went for that walk and then I came back and then we went out um, it's been a lot of uh, a lot of in and out uh, without any in and out because <laughs> yeah the lines are still very long here in Colorado not worth the wait uh, so let's open today's tea I can't say that I'm gonna make it now unless it happens to be a definite oh, look at that look at that in the in the Christmas tree light there's happens to be a definite um, bedtime tea well uh, yes so it's day 16. I knew that without looking at my watch. Are you impressed? Let's just see, it's up in this top corner. Oh, nice. This one, I believe I have only done this iced, but this is Pax of Peach. Oh, it's weird lighting in here tonight. Pax of Peach. It's all peachy with this succulent blend of a lip smacking flavors. The sweet brew sings of peach, papaya, apple, and roasted chicory, creating a soft combo that really packs a peach. Also, great iced. So, I tell you what, what we could do is we could brew it tonight and put it in the fridge, and then we can have it tomorrow. Let's do that. That sounds like a really good plan. Um, and let's open our friends and think calendar. The, um, the verdict from me on the drive through lights uh, was that we did drive through lights last year when we were in Memphis and we were really impressed with those. Um, but they were in like a wildlife park and so there was loads and loads of space. And these lights had been set up just in like a parking lot. Um, and so the organization was really, really good the way they fed you in. And um, you'll be able to see some of that in the video. Um, but then it just didn't have quite the same effect because it was um like more space together so you could kind of see what was coming up whereas the ones we did last year um if you saw last year's christmas lights video you kind of you drove further and so you couldn't see what was coming up until you were it was the next thing you were doing um and so i think that was a little bit better and um just you know further example of how expensive Colorado is it was more expensive it was like ten dollars more expensive than the one in Memphis and didn't last as long um, I would also like I said when we were driving around I would appreciate some stats on like how many lights there are and how long it took to set up and like how much electricity they use and how many different phases there are compared to the music and things like that I like stats like that Okay, we're looking for number 16, and as usual, I can't find it. Oh, I remember now. When I found number two, I was like, let's remember that number 16 is down here. I believe these are cookies by Nestle Tolaus. Uh, if you, oh, I ripped the whole envelope off. That's not good. There we go. <laughs> That's what's underneath the envelope. Shh, don't tell anyone, it's fine. Nobody saw me do it. It's another pin. This is the best pin ever. I have been wearing my friend's Christmas jumper today. I did get changed back into it again. Um, uh, can you see that? Hello, my name is Regina Falange. That is perfect, I love that. Let's maybe pop this back on no one will ever know it'll be okay so that was button number two <laughs> i wonder if there's a button number three there's no more tiny tiny envelopes so presumably not um i can't remember what i was saying now but yes uh, i would have liked some stats um maybe they did a feature on it on the news and i just didn't watch because i only watched the news that is 
immediately before SNL, let's face it. Um, in case you can't tell, it's been a long day. I'm very tired. It's a shame that we didn't get our full walk in, but I didn't know it was gonna be like a snowy hike rather than my usual like one hour stroll. If you saw the week one vlog, the very first day of that vlog um, was the same space that we were at tonight. Um, and yes. Uh, which is a shame because um, I haven't seen my friend that I walk with there in a while. I feel like it was, I only got to walk for a little bit. To be fair, we could have gone a bit further, but I got really, really cold because um, the sun went down. So we might go and take a stroll around a neighbourhood that has really good Christmas lights next week. So if I do, I'll take you with me, of course. Um, I'm going to close off here and I'll see you in the morning for book group. Very exciting. So I did end up having my peach tea last night after I finished speaking to you. I was just like, mm, yeah, I could, I could fancy that. So we've got our Frank and Bones coffee this morning, which we've got some red lip balm on. Um, doesn't that look fabulous? So last night I did listen to some more of Well Played by Jen DeLuca. I've got about an hour of that left, so I can see you thinking, well, why are you not listening to that right now? Um, you would be right. I'm just about to do some bits on the blog, so I'm gonna pop my headphones on and um, listen to some more of that. And then in 45 minutes, I have Book Club, which should be fun. Um, I think I'm gonna talk about this time next year by Sophie Cousins, which we talked about on our live yesterday. I'll link that up above. Um, just because I know I have the US cover of it. It's always a bit like, mm, I kind of need to talk about something that I know that we have access to at the library or that is actually out in this country, um, rather than just talking about something. This is a really interesting angle. This is like, this is the whole apartment. Um, rather than talking about something that you can only get in the UK. So today is Thursday the 17th. Let's see what we've got in our tea advent calendar. Um, I'm not gonna be here today or tonight, so. We're gonna have to save it. It is a Melbourne breakfast. One of the best kinds of breakfast tea that T2 does. So it's got a little um, vanilla sweetness to it and it's perfect on its own or with a dash of milk just like any breakfast tea um, but the Melbourne breakfast is nice so when I'm back at the weekend why will this not sit now hey there we are when I'm back at the weekend we can make this one together and then let's see what's behind door number 17 in the friends advent calendar uh, up the top with a big friend's coffee cup. Let's see what we have. <laughs> I think it's some little greetings cards or is it little greetings cards? They are stuck together. No, they're not stuck together, but it is some little greetings cards. These are very cute. I'll just put them in a tiny envelope. I love them. Very, very cute. Um, lots of people will be getting friends themed gift tags and greetings cards next Christmas. And here is the finished Starbucks wreath up on this bare wall here where we used to have the bookshelf. There's the TV. I feel and like that I did one. show you this one. So we've got pictures. And what I did was I just took down the picture that was there. It's currently down there. So yeah, we have that one there as well. They didn't look good together, so they are separate wreaths.
So Ollie made some really good breakfast tacos this morning, like my little penguins. And then we went for a swim, as you'll have seen, which was delightful. Although because it's super cold outside today, you got kind of drafts coming out so the floor was really cold so when you got out of the pool it was like oh cold feet um and then the little dutch brothers got a little uh almond milk latte and got like a half a they they do their flavors and scoops half a scoop of sugar-free irish cream flavoring so it's quite quite delightful and now ollie's just gone in to get some beers for later at this um brewery that we went to last time we visited Pueblo and um, we enjoyed their beers so we talked about coming back again so we've driven down through some snow <laughs> down to Pueblo um, and then we'll pick up some beers to go. Beers to go is like the best invention I hope it uh, stays around for a lot longer. So we just picked up some Italian food um, for a place that we saw on Diners, Drivings and Dives and it smells really good and they did a very efficient curbside pickup and it's in like the old Colorado city which is it's really quite pretty. Yay. Oh and we also ended up parked behind a Hawaii plate which is always monumental when you see a Hawaii plate and 50% of all the Hawaii plates we've ever seen have been in Colorado Springs. Because yeah. we've seen like, yeah, three here. We saw one in like Loveland and we've seen two in Denver. So I am sorry to report that the uh, pasta was not as good as it smells. The appetizers were pretty good and we got a couple of mini cannolis and they were very nice. But the um, pasta, mine was like super lemony and Ollie's was a bit vinegary and tasted a little bit ready meal-esque and not, definitely not like $30 worth of pasta. But anyway, you can't win them all. Um, I am going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Um, in next week's vlog, you can expect a lot of festive activities because next week includes my birthday as well as Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Um, and I think the ratio of like reading to eating is definitely going to be weighed more in the favour of the eating. Um, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Um, I will, of course, be back with more Vlogmas content for you tomorrow and the day after and the day after that um so hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let me know in the description box uh which your favorite part was um and i will see you with another video tomorrow thanks for watching